Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, I got to tell you, this isn't like a television show for me. This is like old home week because. Welcome back. Welcome yeah, back. You know, I live very close to Pink's. That's terrific. So and you can make it here anytime you want. I don't this know great. whether you've heard this or not, but I frequent this place quite a bit. Well, I, I've seen you here, so this is great. Well, we're here to do a program about an LA institution, an LA landmark. We're talking about Pink's right here on the corner, basically, of La Brea and Melrose. That's right. And I'm standing with Gloria Pink, who's wearing a pink sweater. That's right. Actually, pink is a hot color this year, so we're, we're very in. And Pink's hot dogs have been hot for how many years now? 60 years. It'll be 60 years this November. Now, this started with? My mother-in-law and father-in-law had a push cart. And it started in 1939, and hot dogs were 10 cents, and drinks were 5 cents. And they had curb service, and that was it. Now, was the original Pink's stand here on La Brea? Yes, at this very same location. In really? fact, there are some pictures up here that you'll see later, and it shows the original stand in 1939, and then 41, and then the building that you see today, it was built in 1946. Now, do you own this land? Yes, yes. My... Because this is very expensive land here. It's a good thing. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Pink bought it when they did. Well, they borrowed money to buy it in 1946, I believe. So <laughs> it took a, a long time to be a great corner. Because you'd have to sell a lot of hot dogs to buy this land that's today. That's right. That's right. But it's in the Pink's family where it has been for 60 years. 60 years. This is very unusual to come by here and not see people standing out in front. But I can guarantee you. They'll be here because I have been by here at every time of the day and night, and there are people standing out here getting That's a right. pink. Well, we're busy lunchtime, dinner time, and post club. You know, we're open till three in the morning, mm -hmm. so we have people come here when everything else is closed. And what's amazing is sometimes people come here in black tie because they've eaten dinner at some fancy event and then they show up later. Now, I've seen people here having breakfast too. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, we open at 9 30 now. Yeah. Yeah. So a good old double chili cheese dog goes over great oh, for breakfast. Oh, absolutely it does, especially if somebody's been working late, late shift. They come by here for, for breakfast. And here's the, here's the drill here. What happens is you come up here and you stand in line, just like this guy's doing right here. What are you ordering today? I'm going to have a New York dog. I just came here from New York, and I heard all about pinks. You're a kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you set this guy up? No, I didn't, <laughs> but welcome. One of the first places I've heard of has come to Pink's. Now, when you get a New York dog, what are you expecting? Well, they, it's got the red spicy onions on it, so, uh -huh. and I'm going to have some fries, and if I can fit it, and I'm, I'm a pretty big guy, I might have a Chicago Polish dog, too, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know now. Are you going to have the mild or the spicy? Spicy. Spicy? Yes. I'll tell you, those spicy dogs turn your eyeballs into sprinklers. So, you know, you got to be ready for oh, it. Oh, he's from New York. He can oh, handle anything. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. So, ladies, you got his order? Yes. yes. He's well, having a, uh, what is it he's having? New York dog. He has a New York. New York dog. Yeah, so here's the deal. There are always people in line here. You stand in line. You make your order with these ladies here. That's right. And then you go around the corner and go right in here where these people are standing. Heidi, what are you having today? Um, a chili dog. A chili dog. He's starting off life right. This is great. Heidi, how you doing? You're having a chili dog. Yeah, I am. How many chili dogs you figure you've eaten here at Pink Soul? Probably Eat? a lot. <laughs> Come on in, Louie. And didn't we set up a chili dog here for us to look at? Yes, let's see. A chili cheese dog? It's Where's the chili cheese dog and a Guadalajara dog? Yeah, we want to get we want to take a look at it. This lady standing right here is another member of the Pink's family. Introduce yourself to her. I'm Beverly Pink Wolf. My parents started Pink's 60 years ago, and uh -huh. I was with them from the very beginning, from okay. the conception. So you can describe what I've got right down here, because these are my two favorites. Yes. This is what I always get right here. Describe that to everybody. That's a double dog, cheese, double chili cheese, cheese dog. dog, and a Guadalajara with uh, sour cream tomatoes, and it's uh, terrific. 
We got this, oh, about 10 years ago, we started the double dog. Yeah, because I always get the double dog with extra cheese, and I just started this Guadalajara dog thing. You know what? Our employees were eating this on their breaks, and we thought, gee, if they're eating it on their breaks, it probably tastes pretty good. And you know what? It does. It's great. Well, we're going to, we're going to, could you hold that for me? We'll go back to the patio. All right. And you all are getting loaded up, and I heard you saying something about being excited about meeting Mrs. Yes. Pink. Yes. Is this Mrs. Pink? This is Mr. Pink. Really? Hello. Oh, my you? gosh. This is Mr. Hi. Pink over Hi. here. Yeah. I don't believe that. I've been coming here forever. God, isn't it amazing? You don't think there are people behind the counter that actually are, you know. Named any... Pink. Yeah, exactly. Now, what are you having? Oh, this is the best. Well, now, this isn't for you. Well, all of it, actually, my friend and I, right there. Uh huh. But this is the best. I get this every time. What are you time. getting? This is a spicy Polish shock. This is the hottest thing in town. Uh huh. It'll make you sweat. And then you got the and fries then, yeah, with chili the, on them. Chili fries and the chili dog, which is a classic. Um, Hold that up there so Louie can get a look I at it. I think that, what, double, double poly? Double bacon cheeseburger. Wow. So you know what you're hey, doing, hey, don't you? That's, that's for my husband. Don't yeah, touch that. Onion ring. This is a new thing right here. This is fabulous. These are great. Onion ring. Yeah. They're the best. And All right. So, I, so don't, don't, don't I show. I can't believe this is Mrs. Pink. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, we will. Thank you very much. All right. Now, the deal is we get our dogs. Let's all go outside. Okay. So now, here is the, Gloria, what do you call, well, we haven't really formally met. You're Mr. Pink. That's right. Hello, Hugh. How your are you? It was mom and dad. It was my mom and dad. This. That's right. They started with a little card about 1939. Now, Louie, look at this behind us, because what do you call this room? This is the Celebrity Wall of Fame. These are all the people that either started in show business and came here before they had a couple of bucks to, to spend on better meals, so they, they came to Pink's. Or else, you know, recently we have people that come in and they're not even known in the industry and they just want to have their picture hung here because they hope to get discovered by uh -huh. a, a director or a producer. I got into a big discussion down here the other night with somebody. We got into this debate over whether or not we believed that every one of these people whose pictures are up here have actually been to Pink's right. and eaten a Pink's dog. Do they well, have to be certified to have well, been here? Well, I'll give you an example. We, we didn't know this, but Tom Hanks, every time he finishes a movie, we're told at his rap party, he has Pink's dogs. And we called his agent. We said, would you send over an autographed picture? And he yeah. sent it Where over. Where is Tom just, Hanks' picture? Oh, right we got here. him all over the... And you know what? It's next to Rosie O'Donnell because she had us serve 1,300 hot dogs when she filmed here in Los Angeles. Really? Yep. So Rosie likes Jay Leno? And Jay Leno. Jay Leno was here. Actually, he was here with Aerosmith because Aerosmith came out with a song called Pink. So they ah. came here and they actually sang their song. Now, does this room have a name to it? This no, is the, it's, it's just the dining room. The dining room. The dining room. And wait a minute. Here are three people over here who have been dining in the dining room. Good afternoon. How do you do? I'm Sherrod Calvin. Uh, well, now, tell us what you've... Let's see, um, I had french fries and uh, chili bird, uh, chili dog, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah. You had? The chili dog and some french fries. The double chili or just the regular? Just the regular chili. Well, you got to work up to the double chili will, cheese dog. This one does fine for me, though, right now. Okay. <laughs> and you had? A bacon cheese dog and onion rings. Okay, now, are you all here all the time? I'm pretty much here all the time. Uh, this is Lulu's first time. Yeah. This is your first time here? Yes, it is. Well, tell us. Oh, you are, she's an aspiring actress. you got to get your picture on the wall. I will someday. <laughs> I will. So what do you think? How do you evaluate it? It's really, really good. Um, you Cleaned your plate. Uh, there's nothing there, and I'm willing to come many times back. All right, good. Well, you all are bringing her to the right place. Oh, definitely, yeah. Nice, nice to meet, meet you there. all. Meet you. They're sitting at the power table back here in the back. That's right. Here's our... Look at this. Is this a happy man or what? You know something I forgot to tell you? About eight years ago, I was working for Jack Nicholson back in Albany, New York. I was his driver. And we went for hot dogs one day, and he says, when you come to L.A., the place to go is Pink's. Really, I'm not just saying that. That's the truth. Really? And when I hit town, one of the first places I came to was Pink's. Wow. So, <laughs> oh, there's a guy. What are you having? A whole bunch of chili dogs. <laughs> Where are you from? Washington, D.C. 
And how did you find? Oh my gosh! Bring we those. Hey, for the we whole don't family. wait a minute. For the whole we don't family. mess around from Washington yeah, D.C. Yeah. We take this seriously. Well, I'm Come from over here, Louis. Look at this. I'm from Philly, so. Yeah, we don't mess around. Yeah. This is this is a joke. This is for the whole family. Well, I hope you got a big family. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna eat. This is just me and him. Yeah. So this. And they call me Tiny. Oh, yeah. I'm only gonna have one. He's gonna eat the rest. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You don't need Rosie O'Donnell and 1,300 people. You just need these two people on a regular basis. You're absolutely right. This looks like a, a feast. I've never seen anything like this before. Well, we're usually eating hoagies, so now we're going to have some chili dogs. Now, are you a regular here, or is this? I, that's my third time here. Well, I must say I'm a rookie. This is my first time. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, you're in for a treat. We'll check in with you. Go out on the patio. We'll check in with you later on. Right, Gloria, that is amazing. That is. It looks wonderful. Are you sure you didn't set these people up? I didn't, up? but I'm so happy they're all here. I've never seen such testimonials from people in my life. Now we know that Jack Nicholson likes pigs. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back out here, Louie, and see what these guys... Excuse me, sir. What are you eating here today? Uh, chili cheese dogs. Man. Chili cheese. The regular or the double? No, nah, the regular. I can't double it. Now, is this yeah, your regular stopping yeah, off place? Once a month. I can only handle it once a month. Once a month? Well, once every two weeks. See, he's a regular. Yeah, exactly. Now, what are you eating? Chili cheese, coleslaw. And coleslaw. Okay, it's a southern thing. I'm from I Atlanta, Georgia. I got you. Oh, my gosh. What is this? This is an jalapeno bowl. Jalapeno. It's a giant 12 inch jalapeno. It has jalapenos inside. Look and at the customer this. also likes the jalapenos, extra jalapenos. Oh my, so that is a hot dog. Yeah, it's, no, it's mild, but he likes Are very hot. Are the jalapenos hot. real hot? Uh-huh, yeah, it's very it's flavorful. Hot. Definitely flavorful. See, I've never It's a eaten. meal in itself. I've never, that, now this is for this guy over here? Yeah. Over here, you're eating the jalapeno dog. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Gloria, look at all this up here. Now, I've never tried all of these things. You know what? I'll tell you, Hugh, we kept the legendary chili cheese dog, and we got the hamburger and tamale, but we added, we've got like 21 different varieties of hot dogs now. Burgers, too. Oh, yeah. Now, see, I would never come to Pink's and have a burger. Well, I'll tell you, it's a, it's a great secret, but we've got, we sell about 800, 900 burgers a day. Now, I feel like I'm kind of in the holy of holies back here behind the counter. Introduce everybody to me. Now, I recognize this lady. This lady? Yeah. Okay. Two doubles and one bun. Okay. You're, you're getting, what are you getting? Two doubles on one bun. Two long hot dogs on one bun. Two doubles on one bun. And what are you getting? Just getting the 10-inch stretch. 10-inch stretch. It's the old-fashioned Coney Island dog. Wow. Why, why, why that? in the mood. Yeah. Just, just hits the spot. I bet you people are in, uh, get a lot of the same thing when they come in, don't they? They do. They tend to, but we've added so many other toppings yeah. that people can always come and get a new taste treat. What is this lady's name? Because I see her in here this a lot. This is Angie. On Hi, Helica. Angie. Hi. We've never really met. Nice but to meet you. Have you seen me on the other side ordering? Do you remember me? Uh, no, I don't. No, she doesn't. I always get the double chili cheese. Oh, really? With extra cheese. Oh, okay. So next time, come and see me, and I will make it for you. <laughs> Great. And this lady's... I will not. I will not. And this... Isabel, how long have you been here? Um, about three years. So you're fairly new. Um, yeah. We've got some right boys here. who've been here 8, 10, 12 years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got the low cholesterol bacon Absolutely. going here. Low fat. It smells wonderful. And here is the, look, here comes the chili over here being ladled out. And we're, there's a bacon cheeseburger on the grill. Uh-huh. There comes that chili again. How much oh, there's chili? A, there's a double dog. Oh, wait a minute. we got to see this. Come on over here, Louie. Can we take a look at this? Let's show this to Louie. That is the 10 inch stretch with sauerkraut and master. The it's 10 inch double. stretch, a double. double. Yeah, with, with sauerkraut, sauerkraut and, and mustard. mustard. Yeah. You're eating that. I'm trying to do it. If I ever get it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you're the guy who got the jalapeno dog. I got the jalapeno dog and a double bacon cheeseburger and a chili cheese dog to wash it all down. I got a six pack of root beer. And where did you drive in from? Fillmore. Not just for this. 
Sure. Actually, we're going down to drop off some groceries to a disabled friend of ours. Yeah. But when you're in town, you always stop by here. I try to. Oh, if, if we get a craving for it, we just drive down here and get yeah. it. We'll drive down here from Fillmore yeah. just just for this specifically. And the dad's root beer is part of it too, the whole root beer thing. We've got some old fashioned drinks. The we've got crush and dad's I like root the beer. old seven up bottles too. Yeah. What happened to the orange? You don't have orange. You know what? It's so popular we're out of it right now. I can see that. I've been telling the dads for you. Well, we're getting people lined up here. What are you having today? Just a chili dog, I think, with everything on it. I sound like you've ordered more than that in the past. I've been coming here since I was a little kid with my parents. Really? Yeah, probably 30 years since it I hasn't was... changed that much, has it? Very little. Uh, a few new who's items. Who's this lady with you over here? My wife. And how long have you been coming here? Since I was a small child. I won't tell you how long ago. Oh, really? <laughs> Well, great. Well, welcome back. Thanks. Although it doesn't sound like you've been gone that long. Regular. Yeah. And they're lining up over here now. Now the line's beginning to form as the sun sets. And there's a shot, Louie. Look at her doing that chili. Oh, my goodness. Chili fries. Chili fries. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Chili cheese fries. Now, this is interesting out here, too, because at night, and well, even during the day, this place many times is packed oh, it is with packed. people. Yeah. That's right, and sometimes they're, you know, children having a little birthday party. It's it's always busy. Well, you're smiling from ear to ear because you know, really, that your parents were on to something good, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they were. Who knew? 60 years ago, when they opened this place up with a little cart and an extension cord that stretched about uh, 60 yards to a, a hardware store a block away, so that they could fire up the uh, the steamers every morning, and that's how it all started. It's such a simple right. concept, isn't it? It is, but I think in the days of the Depression, people, you know, had only 10 cents or 15 cents, and they could come here and get a whole meal, be satisfied, and walk away happy, you know? But I mean, it's even today, it's such a simple oh, concept. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about obviously good hot dogs, but we're still just talking about a counter, some people cooking up some dogs and th this isn't brain surgery. No, and what's so wonderful is that people bring their grandchildren and their children over the years and you know it's just it's been a wonderful wonderful experience. What do you think it is that keeps bringing them back? Are the dogs, I'm not a connoisseur of dogs, I don't know whether the dogs are really that good or not. They're but terrific. I think it's the only dog that you can bite into and have that wonderful snap and the juice all comes out, and that's what's great, isn't well, it? They're agreeing with that. It is. And I don't think you can find a hot dog anywhere in the city that's as good as ours. So the dogs are good, yes. but it's also, I'm a sucker for ambiance, for history, for right. places that have, I mean, the place is it's clean, it's painted, but you haven't overdone it. You've kept it simple and true to its its roots. Right, it's it's true to the people of LA. I mean, it's a very casual place. You can come here and be very comfortable. It is a place in the history of Los Angeles. And what's interesting is a place in the history of a lot of families. Like you've heard, people have brought, you know, their their, their fathers brought them here and then now they're bringing their grandkids here. And it's, it's I think every neighborhood wants to know there's a place you can come to that's, that's like a Pink's. It's always gonna be there, it's predictable. It's, it's a place that they can trust. The food is good. The prices are reasonable and cheap. And yet, you know, it's simple, but we got 21 varieties of hot dogs. So you got a lot of choices. So if and you get burgers now, too. And burgers. So if you get tired of one kind of hot dog, you move on to another. Like you found the Guadalajara dog, which was really because we had uh, somebody that worked here from Guadalajara, and he brought that recipe. And we said, well, let's try it. And it turned out to be a winner. Yeah. Yeah. And there is a sentimental connection with the place. A lot of people come here, and they say to me, you know, I sat at that table right there, and you're just looking at a table, but it's 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 connected with wonderful memories. Well, we're right here on the side of you know She She Melrose. Right, exactly. Uh, and Some this is about as far as from She She <laughs> as you can get. <laughs> but you know, I'll tell you, a lot of people who can go to the finest restaurants tell us they prefer pinks. Yeah, but it's also very egalitarian because you're standing in line with a whole cross section. Yeah. Right. of humanity it here, and that's what I love about it, right. too. It is. It's, it's a melting pot, and it's... There's you know, no attitude here. There's no attitude. <laughs> it's, it's entertaining. 
you know, people don't want to go where they're going to be bored. They're always going to meet new people, see new people, even waiting in line sometimes for 30 minutes. You're always waiting with, you know, the rest of L.A. Yeah. And, and it's fun yeah. to do that. And people are very friendly, and you start chatting with the person next to you. And I've eaten dinner many a night here at 2 in the morning <laughs> with people I've never seen before or since, but with whom I had a wonderful conversation while we were stuffing in those yeah. ch double chili cheese dogs and getting the chili under our fingernails. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You got to go home and wash your hands. And Pink's is all about experience. Yeah. You know, it's just it's the experience, and we like to use the word ambiance. It's a very fancy word, but Pink's has it's, its own ambiance. It's true. It's uh, it's it's a great place. It's uh, our parents left a, left us a wonderful legacy, and I'm very proud and honored to be part of the Pink family. Now we're heading over to the corner table because. These guys were telling us that you're the heavy hitter. The heavy hitter, absolutely. Yeah, like let's, the, the see big guy. let's see what you're hitting heavy with grande. here. Grande. The grande. Well, I got four chili dogs coming too, but... Oh, in the, is this is where the heavy hitters meet? Oh my gosh. I'm in the heavy hitters club. We look come at, here. Look you know. at this. Look, I'm, I'm like splitting them with this. We, we hurt chili dogs. <laughs> now, uh, we party. It sounds to me like you all have been here before. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> I don't know last what, month. What's the name? What's the name? What, what Pinks. Call this Pinks? Oh. Yeah. Uh, what is it called Pinks? Now, how does know. this work? You all are sitting around and somebody says, after, Pinks? After a couple of, uh -huh. couple of huskies, uh -huh. a couple uh -huh. of brews. You know, you have to have your Pinks. Go get a little hungry, maybe after a hard day's work. Yeah. Gonna have a couple of hot dogs, you know, relax a little bit. So, <laughs> now, wait a minute. These aren't... I'm splitting these 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 four with him. Okay, We're what splitting. have we got here? Look at this, Louie. You got to get a tight shot of this to understand this oh, whole usually, right, right. Never lets thing. Touch the chili dog. Yeah. What what have we? Just what don't a, touch the tray. Right. Just don't touch the tray. What have we got here? What have we got? Here? Well, we got we got four chili dogs, two with onions, two no onions. We've with got some ketchup. A little ketchup. We got ketchup for the chili cheese fries. Uh huh. Strawberry soda, absolutely a must. The pinks. Absolutely. Or the little uh, sport Dr. Browns. Dr. Okay. Brown. You got to do the Dr. Browns. Cream soda. Absolutely. You all got the just chili dogs. Chili dogs. You got fries, the chili, chili fries. Dogs, chili fries. And then the heavy hitters, of course, do the chili cheese little fries. Bit, little extra cholesterol. That would be uh, me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is amazing, Gloria. I'm even wearing a collar. This is amazing. <laughs> you were telling me there's a record. A little well, heart attack on the, the platter. There is a record. Know. Orson Welles. Actually, I ate 18 hot dogs oh, in one sitting. Orson Welles never hung out with us. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, because me and him one night. Oh. You guys, close you, about, you guys close about 3 o'clock. We got here about 2.45 after a hard night. He just started emptying out the trays. I have the receipt. <laughs> I saved he the receipt. It. He framed it. Because I've never dogs. spent so much money at, at Pink's on before in my life and hot dogs. <laughs> Do you remember what you ate? At 2.45. Everything is right. I, I think all he remembers is indigestion the next day. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I did. Well, that's I did. okay. I and I always chili say dogs. there's a lot of chili under your fingernails, <laughs> too, chili right, dogs, fellas? A chili cheeseburger, chili fries. I did two chili dogs, oh, and two chili pork. cheeseburgers, order chili cheese fries, about four or five of these That's of Dr. Nice. Brown's to wash it all down with. <laughs> well, fellas, we understand and appreciate and respect heavy hitters when we come into contact with them. <laughs> Sure and we have great respect. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Our food's getting cold. Heavy so go ahead and, and go to it. This is like a little Enjoy. boy. You should get them to do a commercial. These these are the guys that should do it. I Look at this. I've been coming here with my grandfather since I was seriously probably about uh, forever. Really? Yeah. My grandma used to live right down the street. So this is like. Fabulous. Well, we this is the whole continuation stories. kind of a thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Well, this has been quite an experience. I got through this thing without eating anything, though. Oh, I can't believe it. You've got to have something What happened to my right Guadalajara now? dog? You'll You've got to be hungry one. now. Well, yes. come on. We'll the smells you. alone will get you. I know that when you're driving down La Brea, if you can, if right, you got to keep your window. eyes straight ahead right, and right. keep the windows up, or right. you're going to pull over here. That's right. You've got the smell right. wafting out onto the street. It just draws you in. Well, I can guarantee everybody, as soon as the camera shuts off, I'm going to join those four heavy hitters back there and make a dent. Great. They've, they I may know. have met their match. Hey. I didn't want to be bragging in front of them, but yeah, uh, it it's been a delight. Thank you very, Thank you, very you. much. Really enjoyed it. It's just an honor to have you here. Well, it's been a real pleasure.
This is, this, as you said earlier, I think this is about as L.A. as you can get. Uh, it, is, it is down home. It is here for everybody from Nicholson, who we just found out comes here. Right. What a great to, surprise. Uh, to, to the rest of us who stand in line and enjoy this wonderful food here. Uh, it's been here since 1939, started by your parents, That's right. uh, and continuing in the Pink's tradition of providing hot dogs, chili, cheese, fries, the jalapeno the hot jalapenos dogs, and everything else. Holy burger. <laughs> it's a wonderful, wonderful place right here on the side of La Brea, Pink's, since 1939. Well, now it's time for a Pink's update. Here we are back here at Pink's. Here's the whole Pink's clan right here. And Gloria, since we first aired this program a couple of months ago, a lot has happened down here at good old Pink's. It surely has. We have had a tremendous response <laughs> and a tremendous outpouring of love for you, Huel. You've got uh, fans, as you know, throughout California. Well, there's been an outpouring of love for Pink's. <laughs> Well, thanks. I'll tell you, we have had a run on our double chili cheese dogs. My favorite. Your favorite. And as a thank you to you, we have a plaque up here on the wall. We have renamed our double chili cheese dog after you, Huel. You're kidding. No. Well, I knew you were going to do this. You told me ahead of time to come down. We were going, but I. What? What is this? What is this? Well, it, behind the pink. That's an appropriate color. Behind the pink curtain, we have our new Huel dog. The Huel dog. The Huel dog. So anyone who comes in and wants your favorite can just say, I'd like a Huel dog, please. Well, this is a big moment. This puts the Hollywood Walk of Fame to shame. <laughs> Nowhere to go but down after this. Well, we're thrilled you're back. Let's go back behind here and unveil, see what's behind the pink curtain. Great, let's come do on. it. Of course, it would have to be pink. Of course, of course, our favorite color. Okay, here we are. We're back behind the counter. We're ready. There's the pink curtain. That's right. I think you should do the honors. So what, what happened? She just pulled the string. Pull the I've string. never done this before. So what's here we go. There we go. Oh. The heel dog. Double chili cheese dog. Two hot dogs in one bun. Mustard chili, cheese, and onions. Huel Hauser's favorite. And if you notice the shape, in the shape of California, California gold. If there was ever an example of California's gold, the double chili cheese dog is it. Visiting with Huell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation.